Now, as we have separated the terms, we will finally get h of s is equal to 0.5 upon s plus 0.5 minus 0.5 into s plus 0.25 upon s plus 0.25 the whole square plus 1.39 the whole square. And again, minus 0.5 bracket minus 0.25 in the denominator, the same term, that is s plus 0.25, the whole square plus 1.39, the whole square. Now, this is of the term s plus a upon s plus a, the whole square plus b square. And we have to make this term in the form of b upon s plus a, the whole square plus b square. So, we'll do some modifications. To this, 0.5 upon s plus 0.5 minus 0.5 bracket s plus 0.25 upon s plus 0.25 the whole square plus 1.39 the whole square plus 0.5 into 0.25 we will make these terms common and we have to multiply and divide by 1.39 that is the b so after this we get 1.39 upon s plus 0.25 the whole square plus 1.39 the whole square so this happens now we have brought these terms into generalized form and we will write the formulas for every transformation. The first transformation is a simple transformation that will be 1 upon s minus pk that is 1 upon 1 minus e raised to pk ts z raised to minus 1. Now s plus a upon s plus a the whole square plus b square is equal to 1 minus e raised to minus a t s cos of b t s into z raised to minus 1 upon 1 minus 2 into e raised to minus a t s into cos of b t s into z raised to minus 1 plus e raised to minus 2 a t s into z raised to minus 2 and finally b upon s plus a the whole square plus b square is equal to e raised to minus a t s into sine of b t s into z raised to minus 1 upon 1 minus 2 into e raised to minus a t s cos of b into t s z raised to minus 1 plus e raised to minus 2 a t s into z raised to minus 2. Now we'll use this generalized formula and finally h of z can be obtained h of z is 0.5 upon 1 minus e raised to 0.5 ts z raised to minus 1 minus 0.5 1 minus e raised to minus 0.5 ts cos of 1.39 ts into z raised to minus 1 upon 1 minus 2 e raised to minus 0.25 ts into cos of 1.39 ts into z raised to minus 1 plus e raised to minus 0.5 ts z raised to minus 2. This is the first term and the last term will be simplification of that term and 0 0.089 into 1 minus e raised to minus 0.25 ts into sine of 1.39 ts into z raised to minus 1 upon 1 minus 2 into e raised to minus 0.25 ts cos of 1.39 ts into z raised to minus 1 plus e raised to minus 0.5 ts z raised to minus 2. So this is the final answer that is the h of z. Thank you.